So the idea of a Tower of Babel in New York, and um, there's this image, there's, there's a description of this new Tower of Babel, about the scale of it. And apparently every, every person in, in North America is going to have their own room. So just try and imagine a building that's got 300 million rooms. Just imagine. So how do you paint a building with 300 million rooms? So I tried to paint a building with 300 million rooms. So if this is Manhattan, 20 miles long, 4 miles wide, maybe that tells us it's a very big building. So I made a series of um, constructed skyscrapers or Towers of Babel. But of course the new Tower of Babel may be a ziggurat or it may be a skyscraper. So in this series I've explored what shape it might be and how big it might be. So this both reads as an object, especially now leaning against the wall. Is it a painting? Is it an object? There's a, there's a question hanging there. So are we, the viewer, in a building so high that Manhattan is that big down below. So again, we are in a, an enormous building. Or is that a mural painted on the side of a skyscraper? Because you see these giant murals in buildings in New York. Or is this building made of glass, city of glass, transparent, so you can see Manhattan through it? So there's all sorts of questions about space and where we are and what's what, which, which I, I love to explore in my work. I love, the, I love there to be questions hanging. When I look at paintings, I don't want to know the whole story. I like intrigue. I like ambiguities. So that, that's full of ambiguities. It's called Park Avenue, this, which is a key location in the story. So 